So let's talk about woo-woo self-help. Let's talk about the secret. Let's talk about high vibration energy. These are things that are called pseudoscience. They're meant to sound like real principles of nature. They're meant to sound scientific, but there is nothing like a fact within that entire realm. Looks and money, do they matter? It's the age old debate. And the answer of course is yes, they matter. Of course they matter. What are you stupid? Let's talk about the bullshit marketing myth that is social circle game. Let's talk about the crock of shit that is natural game. First of all, the very idea of natural game doesn't even make sense to be taught. Let's talk about infield footage. It's a powerful tool for teaching, but it's also a powerful tool for marketing and a powerful tool for lying, 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 lying. Yeah. However, what you usually see with infield is very choppy. You see heavily edited, choppy, sort of like sensationalist bits. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about how some people might go about creating those bits. Let's say, for example, you just went out every single night and every single night you go out, so you have a lot of footage to draw from, number one. And then what you do is you do a, a lot of very high risk things. You do stuff that won't work very often, but when it does work, it will look really, really good, right? And then what you do is 90% of it, you never show. The 10% that comes off, you show, and it makes you look like a boss. However, the problem is that it's not real. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about Todd V dating and why he makes pickup and seduction in the game extremely fucking complicated, okay? Massively way over complicated. And I'm constantly talking to guys on a weekly basis that say, hey, I used to be a big Todd V fan. Hey, I was watching a lot of Todd V's videos and or I took Todd V's courses and they're way more confused and doing way worse than they even were to begin with. Okay, so we're gonna go through the details of what the different areas are that he's massively overcomplicating and why the game does not need to be that complicated. But before we continue, please subscribe below if you're not already a subscriber. Press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. Lots of amazing stuff, uh, lots of great value-packed content. And also, if you want to master this game and get very, very, very good at it very fast and learn the simplified, straightforward, no bullshit, practical approach, okay, what I see is by far the best system in the world. Not because I made it, but because our result rate is so high. Most guys go on track to do 50 to 100 girls a year and put one new girl a week on rotation, okay? So if you want to learn more about that program or possibly be involved with that training, jump on a free 30 minute call. You'll speak to me personally and I will tell you how I can help you master the game very, very quickly, okay, in as little as eight weeks. Actually, most guys are getting results by week two, but by the end of the eight weeks, you will be at an advanced or elite level. So, Todd V, uh, me and Todd, formerly RSD Todd, used to coach programs together for RSD in 2012, okay, in the fall of 2012. We were running programs together in Washington, D.C., we were running programs together in New York City, and I saw back then, right at that time, that Todd was already massively overcomplicating everything, okay? We met a girl once, I think it was Barnes & Noble, he moved her to Whole Foods, then he moved her to a bar, then we, he moved her to a restaurant, okay? And me and one of the students ended up pulling back to his place, hooking up with the chick, coming back, Todd still has this girl. Then he uh, had an opportunity to close, goes back to his place to change his shoes with the girl, I'm like, yeah, I'll stay with the students. And I'm taking the students around, he goes back, returns, didn't close, okay, he didn't even try. He didn't even try to bring the girl inside. His closing game sucks, okay, his game is massively, massively overcomplicated. Here's the thing, it, my product, my cheapest product is called Occam's Razor, okay, it's making things as simple as possible, but no simpler. So I'm cutting out all the fluff, all the BS, all the abstract nonsense, okay, so I'm, I'm distilling it all down and chopping out all the shit that doesn't matter and all this noise out here is mostly just distracting guys, misleading them, causing them to lose sight of proper priorities, etc. okay? Whereas Todd goes the other direction. Todd is adding all kinds of layers of complexity so that guys are trying to juggle a whole bunch of different concepts and principles in their head in real time and it's fucking them up. It causes uh, paralysis by analysis or whatever terms you wanna use. Guys are in their head trying to think of all these different formulations. Some examples of this, he talks about how you need to do cold reading. Okay, and I made a whole video, we'll put the thumbnail out for that, I made a whole video about why cold reading is dumb as fuck. Okay, so it's coming from the wrong frame. You're trying to guess if this girl is this or that or from this place or that or if she likes this or that. And it sounds cheesy and it's dumb. 
Okay, he's also advocating that guys do all this push-pull. So guys are purposely trying to like put resistance so that, you know, it's more dumb shit. Okay, and then I have situations, I've had clients that have come to me after taking Todd's program and getting way confused and way worse. And they're even doing things trying to make the girl chase where they've had situations where they're on my program on a date with a girl and the girl tried to kiss one of the guys and he's like, no, no, just because he was trying to make her chase. Okay, and then he ended up, they ended up blowing out and the girl's like, you're, you're being fucking weird. Okay, so a lot of his teachings are making guys extremely weird, extremely fucking confused and, and just, as I said, it's massively overcomplicated. Every guy I talk to, they're just super confused. Okay, it's not like they go through Todd's training and they're like, yeah, no, I'm crushing it. No, they're ultra confused. And when you peel behind the curtains, Todd is dating an average busted girl, okay? And he's been with her for many years. It's, it's out of control, just like all the rest of the gurus and the coaches, okay? Andy has a baby with her. He's, re, he's playing dad and raising a baby. He's not running around banging stunners, okay? And he's a fucking liar, okay? Uh, when I first met him back in 2012, I said, hey, Todd, what's your lay count? He told me 90, okay? And then he, when someone asked publicly, at the fucking RSD free talk, he said, oh, it's somewhere between 150 and 300, but I lost count. And afterwards, I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? You just told me it was 90, okay? So just openly lying to the audience. Plus, he was part of that whole RSD scammeration for almost a decade, pushing all kinds of bullshit concepts that I knew were bullshit the whole fucking time that Todd was actively teaching, okay? And once he broke off and, and went out on his own as Todd Valentine, and then, you know, later Todd V dating, once our, after the lawsuit with RSD, he became Todd V dating because he couldn't use the Todd, uh, Todd Valentine name that RSD owned. Then he said, he made in his winter game free product, he said, uh, the idea of social circle game and, and natural game don't even make sense, okay? Of course looks matter. What are you, stupid? Right? Like, you know, all these things. Basically, the direct opposite of everything he was saying for 10 years, he came forth and said, oh, well, actually, that, that was all bullshit. So let's talk about woo-woo self-help. Let's talk about the secret. Let's talk about high vibration energy. These are things that are called pseudoscience. They're meant to sound like real principles of nature. They're meant to sound scientific, but there is nothing like a fact within that entire realm. Looks and money, do they matter? It's the age-old debate, and the answer, of course, is Yes, they matter. Of course they matter. What are you, stupid? Let's talk about the bullshit marketing myth that is social circle game. Let's talk about the crock of shit that is natural game. First of all, the very idea of natural game doesn't even make sense to be taught. Let's talk about infield footage. It's a powerful tool for teaching, but it's also a powerful tool for marketing and a powerful tool for lying, 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 lying. Yeah. However, what you usually see with infield is very choppy. You see heavily edited, choppy, sort of like sensationalist bits. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about how some people might go about creating those bits. Let's say, for example, you just went out every single night. And every single night you go out, so you have a lot of footage to draw from, number one. And then what you do is you do a, a lot of very high-risk things. You do stuff that won't work very often, but when it does work, it will look really, really good. right? And then what you do is 90% of it you never show. The 10% that comes off, you show. And it makes you look like a boss. However, the problem is that it's not real. Okay, then why did you push it for 10 years, Todd? You can't trust this motherfucker. I made a whole video, okay, how he's fake as fuck, and, and we'll put a thumbnail up for that, and we'll link it at the end. And it has over 50,000 views, and it goes through all this fucking bullshit about how he was pushing all these things and later denounced them, how he has an average girlfriend, okay, how he has a kid with her, all this shit, how he has shithead assistants running his uh, paid programs, okay, when, when guys sign up for like mentoring with Todd, they speak to Todd very briefly in the beginning, and then they're on with like his shithead assistants that suck at game, okay, guys like JP, who are, who is his former cameraman, okay, who I've heard endless feedback that he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, not that Todd does uh, much more so than his shithead assistants, but he's having these little kids that suck at the game, that have really shitty results, run his live trainings, run his fucking mentoring, this and that, okay? So what you get when you sign up with Todd is massive overcomplication, okay? You get a guy that has no problem lying about his lay count, that has no idea working for a, a scamming cult company known as Real Social Dynamics, 
and has no problem fucking denouncing everything he pushed for 10 years. Or no problem massively overcomplicating the game and, and getting you ultra confused, okay? So I'm gonna make separate videos that break out each of the different things, why push-pull is dumb, why his concept of leveling is dumb, about adjusting to the hotness of the girl, about how you're going to game. Uh, why all these different things that, that he builds in to massively overcomplicate the game are really fucking stupid. Okay, so I highly advise you to stop watching all Todd V dating content. If you purchase his products, don't fucking look at that shit. I, I can't tell you how many times I'm getting guys that come through that program and they're massively confused, they're massively frustrated, they're spinning their wheels, okay? Even, even when I ran into this one dude in Vegas, I said, hey dude, uh, well he's like, oh hey, I'm a fan of yours, all this and that. I'm like, oh, how's your results going? He goes, I've been training with Todd for eight months, okay? I go, how often are you going out? Six or seven nights a week. Okay, well how many girls have you banged in that eight months? Did you keep track? Uh, well actually zero, but Todd says my game is really improving, okay? And I said, hey listen, you're, you're better looking than me. You can carry on a conversation just fine, okay? The fact that you haven't gotten laid for eight months and that Todd says your game is improving is bullshit, okay? Your game still fucking blows and it's because of Todd, okay? Because he sucks at teaching. And I was like, I could give you like some simple, straightforward, important tips right now that would be able to get you laid right now, like get you laid tonight. Okay, I could explain all of Night Game, break it down in full detail in an hour and a half, and you'd probably get your first pull in a club. This shit is not fucking rocket science, okay? Most guys come through my eight-week mentorship, regardless of their skill level, start putting up one to two new closes a week or more. Even the virgins, we've got guys uh, going from one lay count to six lay count in a week and a half and getting their first threesome. We have guys going from virgin to five girls in three weeks. Okay, we have other virgins that are sleeping with eight to 16 girls across the eight weeks, one to two new girls a week. Okay, building rotations, all this stuff that they, they've failed with for years and years and years and years that they tried with Todd V, with Real Social Dynamics, with Natural Lifestyles. What's happening in those programs? Woo nonsense, massive overcomplication, mass confusion, mass overload of information, lack of prioritization, lack of structure, lack of it being practical and straightforward and easy to assimilate. My program solves all those problems. I make it extremely efficient, extremely effective, extremely optimized. I cut out all the BS, I cut out all the fluff. I show you exactly in a straightforward, practical, easy to assimilate manner, here's what you do. I give you the exact texting threads, the exact online game messaging threads, you literally just copy paste them. I build your online game profile with you. We, give, we present the most optimized version of your pictures and I write your bio for you. Now you have a lead path to go from match to online messaging to phone number to phone number with texting to set up a date and that's all handled for you. Okay, now I show you how to run your dates. Now you're knocking down closes on dates. Boom, 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 simple. Now I show you how to close at the house. And then when you get closes, I show you how to retain the girl. We plug in more lead flow from cold approach, from night game and day game. I simplify those and make it as straightforward as possible so you can get regular phone numbers for a lifetime from those sources. And you also know how to pull and take the girl home from those sources as well, okay? If you are interested in learning a real solution, that's straightforward, effective, efficient, and optimized. Do not delay, jump on a free 30 minute call. I'll explain all the details and go through how I can help you and get your game leveled up very quickly, okay? Do not delay, uh, spots are very limited for that. And also, if you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for new videos every day, okay? More technical breakdown coming on Todd and all these other fucking losers. And I hope this was useful for you guys and helpful. And again, this is not hating and all this stuff. When a guy is lying about his lay count, okay, I, I discovered that personally. When a guy is pushing all this crap for decades that he later denounces, that means for a fact, objectively, this guy is not trustable. Okay, and this guy is not trustworthy. He's not able to be on your side. You can't, you can't fucking trust anything this guy says, okay? If he's gonna work for a scam operation and denounce everything he taught for 10 years, that's a massive red flag. If he's gonna marry an average busted girl and have a child with her and be with her for several years, that's a huge red flag, okay? When he's gonna lie to my face and lie to his audience about his fucking lay count, that's a huge red flag, okay? When I talk to countless guys that go through his system or go through his online training and they're confused as fuck, okay, and, and massively in their head, and, and frustrated and all this shit, that's a huge red flag. When he has these shithead assistants running his fucking dog shit programs, and these guys clearly don't know what they're doing and are making the whole fucking stinking pile of shit much stinkier and worse, that is a red flag, okay? 
So do not, give a, do not be fooled by his, his pseudo intellectual, like, oh yeah, if you want to get good at the game, like, and he's got his fucking, you know. It, he puts on a good show, okay, and he pretends to be the, the key to all your, all your fucking problems, but I can tell you firsthand that he makes the situation a lot worse for a whole lot of guys, okay, and I've, I've talked to lots of guys that are in that exact situation. So it doesn't matter how many fucking subs he has, or how well he seems to know what he's talking about on camera. His shit is fucking trash. End of story, okay? If you want a real solution, jump on a free 30 minute call with me and I will show you exactly how I'll solve it. And I will put my money where my mouth is and solve it for you in as little as one to two weeks, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.